Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Rim World Anomaly. We are doing all right. We got ourselves uh, two cages now, so that's cool. Holding platforms, whatever you want to call them. This one's a little better than the other one for some reason. Has more uh, containment strength. I think it's because it's a little bigger. I think that might be it. Uh, 530, 32. This one's saying. 435. What? What? Why does this one have more wall HP? Oh, because this is open. I, I'm telling you, once this gets closed up, they'll probably have the both. They'll probably both be at 67. That's my guess. Don't quote me on it. Only because you should never quote me. But we'll see what happens here. We got a new uh, colonist over here. Durham. Carver. Well, I guess I'm going to rename to Bree. Because so I remember who wanted in. I don't have another reason than that. If you don't like it, too bad. Anyway, so how you doing, buddy? You're a little hungry. So we had a we have a heat wave going on. So we got to go, you know, have him attack some corpses, but there aren't that many to attack right now, which is unfortunate. So how often do you get out? You get out like every 1.8 years, give or take. OK, we got to be ready for that. I wonder if you could put a oh, Fran, you're getting some heat stroke over here. I mean, you'll finish this off, then you'll head back inside. You should be okay. You can handle up to what, 40? Yeah, 40. And it's 56 outside. That's Celsius. You know, I, we haven't translated that to freedom. Because I don't have the mod that does that. I, and I don't think it's part of vanilla. Unless they change that. They did make some quality of life changes, but I don't think that was one of them. Uh, what is it? Interface? Interface, yeah. Oh, I could be playing Kelvin. Let's go, 330 Kelvin. Uh, no, we'll stick. I guess we'll stick with Celsius. Because uh, why not? And boom. Thank you, Fran. I love the plan. The plan right now is for Sai to uh, eat himself a tortoise. Hmm, delicious. Oh, uh oh. Oh, crap, it's escaping. Uh, are you building the floor? No, you're smoothing the floor. That's not going to help us. Get get over here. Get over here. Start shooting it. Doc oh, crud. Wait, we're going to detect it. That's what we have this thing for. Oh, well, Chilling's detected it with his face. He's fine. He's alive. So I need you over here to fight this thing. Never mind. It's down. It's down. Okay, recapture it, Fran. Choose containment destination. It doesn't matter which one. You can put it back in the same one. That'll be fine. Okay. Go ahead and get the wall done. Don't worry about the floor. Nobody cares about the floor. Yeah, it went back down to 67. Okay. So, obviously, I need to consider some stronger walls here. There we go. He's reconnected. Fran, what's the damage? Ooh, it's actually pretty bad on you, so... Bree tried to convert Chillingsworth. What? Why? Um. Okay, Doc... I mean, I call you Doc, but neither one of you have good Doc skills. And Bree doesn't have good Doc skills either. So, we're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. Well, at least we were able to recapture the dang dude. What are we working on as far as anomaly research? Bioferrite harvesting, that's right. Okay. Well, thankfully we have some decent medicine to use. Got you patched right up with 16%. Let's go. Uh, is this thing dying? It is. It lost a lung, but if Chillings can at least heal it up enough where it doesn't die, we'll be fine. Go ahead and allow self-tend on yourself, too. Yeah, I guess we. I guess it makes sense for you to keep this thing from dying first. You know what? Let it bleed out a bit. That's fine. Go ahead and uh, take care of yourself. Yeah. How much medicine do we have? Oh, we got plenty of medicine. We're fine. You can use some for this. Stop bleeding all over my floor, please. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're obviously not going to use medicine on that dude. Bree, why are you mood hungry? You, are you allowed to eat? I mean, you can get up, right? Do you have the technology to stand up and eat a food? You do. Go ahead and eat this packaged survival meal, then. You hunt, or you can hunt, but you lack a suitable weapon. Honestly, you're not even that good at it. You're not bad at it, I guess, but... Okay, well, everyone's injured, so that's great. <laughs> that's going to move your mood up to where it would it'd be at a healthy point, so that's good. Okay. Sai, how you doing? Heat wave's over. Good, that means animals will start coming back. Animals that aren't tortoises. 
Ooh, there's another uh, ship chunk over here. There's like no easy way across here. What if we, uh, what if we put in a mining order to get us across this little area? That'll greatly speed up the rate that we can get over here. I mean, the alternative is to go through the cooler, but I don't want to go through the cooler. I don't want our enemies to go through the cooler either. So we might have to do something about that eventually is what I'm getting at. Um, I mean, we could seal it off. Actually, yeah, why don't we just do that? Mm, what do we want to throw up here? A, uh, I mean, a plasteel wall would make the most sense. How much slate do we have? When did we get slate? We have 60 slate? All right, then. Slate it up, dude. I, didn't re I guess there was some rock cutting happening at some point. I just didn't notice it. All right, everyone's just having a sleep. Presumably, you'll all be fine eventually. Yeah, you're fine. You're mostly healthy. Chillings, you'll be okay. Everyone looks like they'll be okay. Okay, we got some more animals coming in. Some more alpacas and a turkey. Go ahead and oof this turkey. Okay. There, there's actually quite a few ship chunks just laying around. As they do, as they do. We should probably uh, do something about all the dirt lying around here. Chillings is practically healed up at this point. In fact, he's not even sleeping, so why don't you clean up here? Thank you. Why don't you clean up in here, too? This is still considered the lab? What lab machines are in here still? Oh, wait, that's because we have a research bench, that's why. <laughs> yeah, Don't mind me. I, I, I know what I'm doing. I'll pretend. Actually, I like this location for the lab, even though the chair is kind of in the way. I still like it. You can deal with it. You can walk past the chair. Okay. Brandon Chillings are... Okie and dokie now. And Sai is well fed on that delicious turkey meat. Good stuff. Good stuff. How's, how are these trees doing over here? I mean, they're doing. They're 40 something percent. That's not bad. You know, they're getting it on. Doing what they can. Just walking around the monolith as you do, as you do. Uh, we can study it as well. What does studying it do for us? Meditation focus, yeah, yeah. Open linked quest, a tune. I guess we don't know. Study, progress ongoing. Doesn't say explicitly what it'll do for us. So I guess the answer is something. No, 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 no. Um, I want this unroofed because please understand, I need to. Yeah, there you go. Take the root. Get over on this side, please, and then finish it. Uh, is this going to heat up? It is, because it's a hundred and something there. Uh, I need you to unroof this for... <sighs> Boy. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Unroof that. Okay. Build here. Thank you. And then build here. And you're probably going to need to get more stone for it. But that's fine. We lost a little bit of stone, but the the process works just the same. Okay. This is basically a little chimney is what this effectively is. <laughs> it's a little chimney area for all the heat to go out. As long as it works for that, we're fine. Okay, beautiful. Fran is doing some studying. Look at that. Getting some of that basic stuff going on. They'd be mad, dude. You deserve it. All right, you think we aren't mad? You're the lungless one now. Okay, that's what you get. And we get to learn. Uh, so you're gonna need to eat again soon. I like how he just stands way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, what else is he gonna do, right? Solar flare, well, there goes our electricity again. Didn't we have a solar flare like less than a month ago? What is this planet? All right. Will it work if he just stands in the middle of these? Or is he gonna die? I don't know. Oh, oh, he got stunned. What's the damage? Uh-oh. Might need to hold off. Here, go ahead and eat one. Here, unforbid them both, though, so we carry him in and slaughter him. Because that'll be more meat in the long run. All right, here, gotta give him a minute. Actually, catch this one. This one's got caught out. Get it, get it, get it! Yeah, baby! All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see if we get another one to get caught out here. Get him! Oh, that was that was actually quite the fight. Kill it. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, and they're carrying it in. 
10 out of 10. Okay, we got it. The plot is big. Um, any more heal root to catch here? Oh, baby, yeah. Start harvesting it, please. Fran, a little bit of extra work for you when you get the chance. Bree, are you ever going to wake up and, like, do stuff? That'd be cool if you did. All right, they're sleeping. This is our chance. Watch as the majestic ghoul stalks its prey in the middle of the night. Coming from behind the alpaca. They're giving it the alpaca slapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, now they're all awake. Whatever. He's got two more of them, okay? That's that's some free meat. Give it a minute. He, he got hurt again. As he, as he do, as he do. But he'll heal up. He's healing up 100 health per day. And I think he's taken more than 100 health of damage at this point. So probably shouldn't uh, brag about that. Potatoes are almost grown. So the fact that we have low food isn't... Okay, it's kind of bad. <laughs> Just realized we, uh, we have nothing in here. Uh, by the way, the food should be at a preferred priority in here. So I tell you what, let's make sure it's mostly food and stop putting items and raw resource. Well, raw resources. Mm, plant matter could go in here. But everything else should not. Like, th this stuff should. And this this should not, okay? So, but we get the chance. Bree, are you ever going to do anything? You're ravenously hungry because you're just standing around not eating food. Get up and live your life. Okay? We're missing raw food. I guess we got to make some food out of... Uh, out of the meat as well. Okay, so I won't be able to eat it. It's not raw, but that's okay. He'll, he'll be fine. How you doing? How's your hand? Your hand is still nearly falling off. That's not good. <laughs> It so is your leg. I, I would rather not those not fall off because I assume those aren't going to heal if they fall off. You see that that's that's where we have the catch twenty two situation. Ship to the stars. Thank you, Mister Whitestone, my AI friend, but you're not going to be helpful here. Okay, let's let's get some cooking done. All right, you need to eat. Okay, at least a little bit of it. There you go, and a little bit more. Okay, that's enough food for one day. Eat up and go get more food. We got more alpacas. Okay. Sai, how you doing? How's your leg? Any hand? Nearly healed up? Sorry, I think it's time. Don't slap a thrombo, please. I'm drawing the line at thrombos. I don't think you could 1v1 one, one. Or two. Or more. Okay. But these guys... Actually, finish this off, please. Give you a chance to heal up a little bit more. And actually start eating it, because you need to eat. Mmm. Delish. Do, 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 do. He's loving it. All right. One more to go. Just don't lose a limb, and you're fine. Holy cow, he did it. Good job, dude. All right, and there's nothing else to eat right now. Well, nothing else for him to eat. It's fine. Will you... Do you do nothing but rest... I mean, I guess so, because of the priority thing here. So I should probably... I guess that means it's time to do this. Okay. So, you know, child care will be a higher priority. Wardening will be at a 1, even though chilling is the only one that can do it. Animal work will be at a 2. Hunting. Bree could actually be a pretty good hunter if we can get her a ranged weapon. Growing should be at a 2 for both of you. Actually, should be at a 1 for both of you. Uh, art, I guess, will be at a 1 for both... Man, it'd be two for both of you. Research should be higher. Two and two for Fran and Chillings. Uh, cooking for Chillings should probably be at a priority two. And construction should be at a priority one. If there, if I have orders to construct, I want you constructing. All right, it should be an easy enough, uh, easy enough order. Although that does mean you're going to get all of this flooring done before anything else, which is probably fine. Probably. Hey, we have potatoes. Let's go. We're going to have some more rice soon, too, so we can have a variety in our meal plan. I'm going to need a torso. You got alpaca hooves in there, huh? And that seems like it'd be painful. Are we full up on our uh, corpse storage? We're not. Hmm. Okay, we, we actually are lacking a fair amount of storage space here. And I tell you what, since we... 
our zone seems to be fairly fine. As far as, like, this room is still slightly impressive, even though it's dirty and ugly. I think we're fine. To just have y'all bring more stuff in here. Eventually, we need to carve out a proper storage room. But it doesn't need to happen right away. And it will probably be over here. Now that I think about it. Do we have any, uh, uh, this could be mined out with no problem, actually. Let's go ahead and put in the order to do that. And actually, let's let's mine it from the other side. There we go. That way we can get it the exact shape we want it. Eventually. And yeah, y'all do mine. Actually, uh, Bree, you're pretty good at the mining thing, so get ready to do some of that for me if you could. You're almost healthy. I appreciate it. Okay, we're sewing, we're smoothing. Bree has begun to fixate on the void. Which is to investigate it using the Void Provocation Ritual. Okay. That's good for you. I don't... I don't know if that's a good idea. It expires in 10 days. I mean, if that's it, then... It's not too bad, I guess. Alright, can you get me some of these at least? Strange and Psychic Suppression. This strange is a person, apparently. She's, uh... Harbinger, another Harbinger tree is sprouted. I'm not too worried about that yet. Um, calls for help. Wants to join us at Rockwell. If she joins you, the persona will hit it with a psychic suppression for 6.6 .6 days, affecting all males. Will that affects Sai as well, because that's where it would get nasty. Because we would lose a lot of our melee capability if we did that. I wish we knew more about you and whether you're use more useful. You are a 26-year-old tamer. And that could be fine. But outside of that, I don't know, man. I do not know. I, I really need y'all to start working on these. Okay, I know you're smoothing the floors, but let's get you butchering. Ancient mech. Passing near the remains of an ancient exostrider mechanoid, Bree noticed an intact transponder inside. Yeah, I know about it. Yeah, it will likely detonate after you do some damage. Well, we can't... We wouldn't be able to take on the mech, honestly. Not yet. So I'm not even going to try. Okay, we could also bring in the camel hide at some point. Which would be nice. No new animals here to worry about. Sai, why don't you come over here into the colony so that you can grab some of this meat when you get hungry. I don't know if you just only look around at a certain radius or something, but oh, now you're moving around. Okay. Chillings, what's wrong with you? Observed rotting corpses. But yeah, we should probably take care of those at some point and maybe make that disappear. I'll tell you what, give me another dumping stockpile zone back here. Clear all corpses, human-like, critical priority. Uh, don't bring human-like corpses over here. Eventually they'll get moved. All right, well, I guess he just ate those off the ground. I guess that works. Now granted, this mood is going to be bad for a little bit at this rate. Dull barracks? I mean, yeah. It's not great. We could we could work on that, probably. Okay, we need to get the books out of here. Can I get you... It's chilling, so you need to actually go to bed at this point, I think. Yeah, you're also very sleepy. Hmm. I know what I can do to help. Go ahead and haul this out, please. Thank you. Haul... You can't haul that out. You could take the wake up. You can't haul the uh, components out either? Really? Hmm. Good to have you pick up some medicine, but I think it's fine if you don't. All right, other than that, I think we're fine with the stacks we got here. Kind of screwed up his, uh, his sleep schedule. It's fine. We'll just get him up after a little bit. Maybe once the drowsiness goes away, he'll be fine. Actually, he's going to be fine either way. His mood's already prepared to rise, so get up. Yep, eat. And then tell you what, do a little bit of cooking. Okay, we need to make sure we have some meals ready to go. Okay, how come the light leather? Oh, wait. We shouldn't have it in here, right? Oh, we do. I thought I deleted some of those no weapons apparel oh i forgot to delete manufactured that's why okay that makes sense cool uh go ahead and haul this component out 
Haul the bird skin out. Oh, he's still prioritizing. I didn't realize. Yeah, you don't have to do the prioritized work anymore. He's still tired. For better or for worse, we'll let him take a nap. All right, then we'll have another, we'll make a proper storage area over here. And then we can get all the storage out of here. Move it over here. That makes this room better, which means they'll like, you know, eating in here and hanging out in here once we get some recreation. Uh, don't get heat stroke, though, Bree. Actually, maybe you should take off that dang jacket. Take off this parka. There you go. Well, that still says 29. Well, that didn't help as much as I thought it would. Let's see. Western Hados is here. They have a few things to trade us. Let's go ahead and let them get a little bit closer. And then go ahead and talk with them. Chillings, see what they got. Uh, we can sell books. They have a jump pack. I mean, that's a tech print. They don't have the actual jump pack. That'd be cool. We'll sell some wake up. Get a little bit of money out of them. But they don't have anything really we need. The barrel would be okay, but... So we don't need it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just mine this stuff out, too. Mostly a because-we-can type thing. But now that we have Bree here to do some of the mining for us, we should be able to get a fair amount of... You know, I'm going to make the door go to here, I think. Mainly for the symmetry, because I can cut this down. This will be a 3 by 3 hallway all the way across, and then we could actually cut it off again right here. And if we did that, we don't need this cooler anymore, at least not for now. If we did that, then, uh, you know, we could have another room here. Oh, this could be the proper storage room. Yeah, and then we could have another room up here. Or we could extend the bedroom. Either of those are perfectly cromulent. How's your... Okay, you're, you're pretty good on food. Goodbye, Western Hedos. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate you. We need to take care of these corpses here. They spoil in nine hours. Dang it. Oh, but there's a gazelle. And a grizzly bear in the warg, but we're probably not going to hunt those. Brand doing some research. Good. Halfway towards bioferrite harvesting. We're going to learn something from that. Uh, Fran has had a breakthrough while studying the monolith. That was more basic, yes. Believes the monolith is a conduit for psychic energy, connecting to some distant location. However, she's unsure where or what it connects to. She's convinced that by studying more anomalous entities, we can find a way to close the conduit or harness its power. Well, we knew that part. But I appreciate you studying it some more. Okay. Getting 50 at a time from it. Actually, we're getting more from this than we are from the other dude. <laughs> well, dang. But we still need to get to the point where we can do more complex stuff. Okay, go ahead and tear this down. All right. How are we doing on steel? Not great. <laughs> we need more. Well, that part's easy enough. We actually have a huge lump of steel right over here. And we have someone who's not terrible at mining who can go after it for us. We're going to need another steel door here. All right. Uh, just get just hold the stuff that's near the outside of the base. Don't worry about the rest of it for now. Um, chillings, while you can, can I get you to do... Yeah, actually build that door. Okay. Now that that's done, butcher... Get them as you can. Hey, they sent a combat supplier right afterwards. They were like, hey, that first trade wasn't too bad. Let's send some more dudes. Oh, no, we only got two hours for these guys. Oh, no, some of these have 14 hours. Okay. We'll be able to do a good amount of butchering with that. Get one butcher done. And then uh, let's go talk to the combat supplier. Thank you. What's up, you? How you doing? Uh, cat ears. Hot dang. You know what? We have some crappy knives. You can have them. Smoke launches. Minigun. Hellcat rifle. I mean, I can't really afford any of these, and we only have like a dollar or two. <laughs> so, nothing I could use. I could sell components if I really wanted to. And as much as it would be good to have another gun, none of these are a good enough gun. Although a great bow could be good enough. For, you know, sell a solid seven components. Get a little bit of of stuff out of it. Yeah, yeah, give me a great bow. Okay, and then Bree, equip the great bow. Boom. All right, good stuff. He's going back to butchering? He is, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna accept this quest right now. Maybe it was 6.6 .6 hours, but nearly a week of impacted consciousness, I don't think that's gonna do. 
Okay, we need to invisible up these conduits now. The fact that I can see them hurts. Uh, I mean, I do want to deconstruct them eventually. I, I need you to do the butchering, though. And it's already your prioritized work. So I tell you what, Bree just needs to go ahead and chop down a single... Oh, I can't just replace them? Okay. There. Now we have enough steel to do it. That's all we need. All right. That is legit all we need. Oh, this one rotted at the place and time. Dang it. Uh, hey, chillings, go... Don't eat raw potatoes. D don't clean the kitchen either. Do some cooking. Just like one or two meals. Everyone gets to eat. Everyone's going to be fine. Okay. Here's one. Let's make three and then we'll be fine. Two. And three. Uh, I have the wrong person selected. Uh, I guess make four. Four. Flesh beast attack. The ground seems to be giving away. The sounds of writhing flesh and cracking bones can be heard from below. Well, that sounds unlovely. New entity discovered. Flesh beast. You don't say. So here's the pit burrow. A small hole connecting to some unseen cave network deep under the surface. The walls are too steep to climb. It is inherently unstable and will collapse after some time. This is a finger spike. That's a name. A uh, fleshy dog-sized creature with a single spiked limb. Despite their uh, short legs, they can move remarkably fast. Minimum containment strength is only 20. It gives one basic per study, which I think is actually... Well, that wait, that's that one basic total? Compared to this dude? What does this say? Per study. 1.7. Okay, okay. Gotcha. So on the in, in that respect, they're worth less. Are they going to attack right away, or are they just going to fart around here? Uh, I, I'm leaning towards they're going to attack right away. Okay. Get the group together. Okay. New research available. Ooh, summon flesh beast. Excuse you. Okay. Sigh. Get it. Stop him. All right, Fran. I need you in a spot to defend against or er, protect. It exploded! Well, I guess we can't study it that way. Let's go to this hole. Alright. Summon Flesh Beast. Provokes Flesh Beast to emerge from the ground near enemies attacking anyone nearby. Requires draw animals first. It is considered basic, which is kind of weird. Alright. Can I get you three to start filling it in? Uh, maybe? Maybe? But one of you will. Okay, Sai, so you stay here for defense. Everyone else, go about your business. All right, Bree, what's your mood bad? Because Dol Barracks ate raw food, dang it. Wait, you don't like great bows? Why don't you like great bows? Why doesn't your thing like great bows? What's wrong with great bows? Do you hate ranged weapons? You hate ranged heavy weapons. A great bow counts as a ranged heavy? Well, that's dumb. Every other bow would count except a great bow. Wait, what about shotguns? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Um, Shotgun, shotgun. Dang it, that counts as a heavy, huh? Actually, no. I, I only said that because it didn't count as a noble, but... I don't see it on the list of heavies. Charge blaster, charge lance. So I could have you take the shotgun and then Chillingsworth could take the other. Yeah, that, that'll have to work. Come up here. Okay. Uh, drop the grape. Well, give it a minute. He's almost done. Okay, drop the grape bow. Okay. Chillings, you equip the grape bow. And Bree, you, you equip the shotgun. Good thing I didn't give uh, Chillings a, you know, or give our default ideology a negative towards certain types of weapons. Sai, you can go eat now. He's like, hell yeah, I will. All right. Get rid of this passive cooler. We don't need that one either. Okay, you need to get out of the room, though. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ideological Jubilee. Ideologists can have a special celebration on the 10th of Jugist. 
They need a gathering spot like a table, a machine logo, and a ritual spot. Or, you know, that's one of the places you could do it. Expires every nine days on the 4th of September. Okay. Yeah. It's done by the highest... Yeah, we don't have a, a Woken president. So it would probably suck. Probably. Actually, its chance of sucking is 32%. Actually, 43%. It would probably suck. But we could always try it. Hey, thanks for the 105 silver, dudes. Look at them. What friendly lads. We're almost done with smithing. That's going to be great. Okay, so now we're going to have another storage room, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and put in the order to smooth that room out, too. Smooth surface should do it. Yep. And in that one spot, we'll just go ahead and put a paved tile. Tile? Uh, there. And then that'll be a place where we can do more storage. It'll be great. How are we doing on animals? Uh, there are a lot of Ibex and Gazelles about. The Gazelles, they won't attack. So we can hunt them with Psy as well. It's the perfect scam. But we're going to do that maybe next time. Because that's going to be it for this episode of that plays. Rimworld Anomalies. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. I'll see more. It'll keep coming on stop till it does. And then it probably will. Thanks again for watching this episode of Rimworld Anomaly. I gotta haul these dead bodies at some point. Unless I'm gonna have like something beat them up or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's be real. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.